today we did an installation for a 10.25 inch evo fit touch screen on a bmw 3 series this is the f30 2014 model sport edition as you can see this is the latest bmw 3 series screen we have from evo fit this is exactly like the g20 latest 3 series screen style so it has the shape like the new 3 series screen and it goes very beautifully with the existing interior and shape this is the latest model we sell the working of the existing menu options with the new upgrade basically work through the iDrive controller as well as we can use touch screen to operate the screen this is the iDrive 8 the latest user interface we can hit my car and it pulls up the old menus excellent screen quality much better color depth compared to the old screen one important thing to remember is the aux should be enabled under CD multimedia for us to be able to hear the sounds from the new screen now if I just touch the screen it comes back to the Android menus the new iDrive 8 menus right here we have navigation so we have Google Maps navigation inbuilt in this system blinding fast performance this has got an 8 GB RAM system so really powerful as you can see high resolution screen and excellent speed head west on first main road toward Cambridge Road then use any lane to turn right onto Cambridge Road so you could hit the home and a small widget will continue to show us you know uh, what the GPS directions are going to be uh, we double tap on this and maximize the screen too we have our internal we have our internal high resolution music player so we could pick up music from the existing drive and play music right here scroll to different parts of the song the existing steering controls continue to work as it is Excellent sound quality matches with the BMW speakers beautifully. In fact, improves the sound quality using CarPlay and Android Auto. We also have a video player here. So we could scroll to a different part of the video. Excellent video quality. Beautiful screen. Capacitive touch screen. So the existing controls continue to work from both places. Alright. Then we have the vehicle information option. Basically just copy the speedometer. The RPM revving shows right here. We can go home. We can put off the screen while driving if we find it bright at night time. You can also increase and decrease the brightness so right here. Bluetooth will basically help us pair with the new Bluetooth device. You can switch it on and off. There are shortcuts for music, navigation, Bluetooth and settings right here. We could adjust, make minor adjustments like the media volumes and stuff right here. Type of camera that we've used. In this case, we've upgraded the camera with a car specific 3 series camera so if I just engage reverse gear we have the adaptive guidelines with control with steering as well as a neat view for the reverse camera if you can see right here you can see the edge of the bumper so you can traverse really close now if we disconnect that it just comes back to this under apps we have all the apps which are pre-installed and we are going to install are going to show here youtube is inbuilt then we have wireless apple carplay on this device too so i could go to z link and what i'm going to do is connect via bluetooth so that we have apple carplay working out here this has got wireless carplay so you just selected the bluetooth device Now it will launch up a couplet.
it takes me about 5 10 seconds to about 30 seconds to reconnect we pause the music right here we have the icon menu out here and we've got the split screen menu out here works really beautifully with apple carplay you have your call list from your iPhone so you can pick up a number and give them a call we can also operate this using the iDrive controller so if you see using the iDrive controller too we have control on this we have Apple Maps Excellent sound quality, really neat sounding system. If we hit the Bluetooth button out here, basically it pulls up the original Bluetooth and if we press here, we can go into the call list right here. You could also give it voice commands so I could say, hey Siri. Open Google Maps. So it open Google Maps so we can just go to search and navigate to a new location. I could also say, hey Siri. Hey Siri. Open Apple Maps. Okay. Now we could basically hit car and we can get back to the original menus or we could go to Z-Link 5 and just slide down and hit on home and it comes back to the original menus. Similarly, we also have CPU-Z installed on this hardware so I could show you what it is. This is the original Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 processor, really fast performance, device has total RAM of 7720 so basically 8 GB of RAM. Really excellent performance, neat latest iDrive user interface. If you'd like to learn more about this system, get in touch with us or go to evoretrofits.in. I hope you like this system and you have a nice day.